Hello. Um, so, quick brief history, which will inform the question I'm asking. Um, I'm double positive um, APS. I've got a history of stroke, including amaurosis fugax. Um, and I have widespread joint pain, which has been getting worse over the last year. Um, worst part is the, the hips um, and knees. Um, my rheumatologist is exploring whether I have arthritis and I'm just waiting for tests, although um, ultrasound has shown no inflammation. Um, He's said that he's looking at that because I could potentially have, and I might mispronounce this, hydrochloroxy... hydroxychloroquine. Yes, that's yeah. the one. I'll memorize it if I end up taking it. Um, so he's exploring whether I can have that, but wants to find out if there's evidence for it, as of course I can see it causes problems with eye, which having had a morosis fugax, I'd rather not have any more eye issues. Um, but if it comes back... It, negative in terms of evidence for arthritis. Is there any argument why I can't ask for a trial of that medication if it does have positive effects on people with APS and joint pain? Um, well, I wouldn't have any reason not to do that, and I have given people with APS hydroxychloroquine, and the reasoning is there have been large studies. There's a study called the Europhospholipid. It's very famous. It's been going for more than 20 years. They collected 1,000 people from all over Europe with APS, and they followed what happened to them. They made, they made tables of all their symptoms. And joint pain is a symptom which occurred very commonly but with APS. So people can have joint pain in APS even if they don't have any other arthritis. Your doctor is absolutely right to look for other causes, so whether you have another form of arthritis, it's absolutely right your doctor is doing that. Uh, but if they don't find anything, then hydroxychloroquine is a well-established treatment which has been used in antiphospholipid syndrome. It won't be guaranteed to help the joint pain, but it's something which many doctors would use and I would use. Right to point out the fact that it could have side effects on the eyes. And usually what it's not common that that happens. Um, and usually it means check up by an eye surgeon. And the guidelines differ in different countries. Here in the UK, the guide is now once in the first year and then after five years. One thing about hydroxychloroquine, it's important to have the right dose. So weight for weight, it's the right dose. So uh, somebody who's a, a little person would need a small dose, and somebody who's a very big person would need a bigger dose. It's important to have the right dose. So the short answer to your question is, uh, APS with no sign of arthritis and ultrasound, I think many people would try hydroxychloroquine, but at the right dose with the appropriate eye monitoring. I uh, agree, sir. I've tried it also. Um, I would I would say at the beginning of this, you might want to have a agreement or contract with your physician for why you're trying it, because trying means a certain period of time and then you reassess. Uh, two reasons why there's, there's a rationale for using hydroxychloroquine, the joint pain, and in fact, after a trial period, at least three to six months, if the joint pain goes away, well, you probably have your answer and you'll want to continue it. But if your joint pains don't go up, you still want to continue it. And that's a little more of a gray literature, but there is benefits on the vascular aspect of the disease in preventing probably vascular problems in the future. So you might still want to continue it, but getting into, it's yeah. not an indication, let's say. So in Canada, we would have to prove why you want to use it long term if we want to have it reimbursed, for example. And the eye issue with the amaurosis, I wouldn't be worried. I mean, it, it, they're two totally different mechanisms. So that, I wouldn't, that wouldn't stop me, uh, as long as you have the recommended follow-ups by an ophthalmologist. Thank you very much, Dave. Just one last thing. The Europhospholipid study, or would I find out more about The RISAP study, you mean? The, oh, sorry, which one study, are you talking about? The study oh, Europhospholipid study. Um, you mean you want to read about it? Yeah. Uh, OK. So do you have access to any of the web-based search engines or anything like that? What, Google. Uh, okay, so um, uh, you need sorry. to look up. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. No, sorry. I said you mean Google. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry. You need to look up the name Cervera, C E R V E R A, Ricard Cervera, and if you look him up, I think most of these papers are now available online, and you can just get them. Ricard. So if you look him up, Europhospholipid study, it should give you some hits.